Good afternoon. Um, in school, each one of my classes go, goes a little something like this. I come in expecting to get 45 minutes of learning. Well, that's just how long the class period is. We never account for the time it takes before we start the lesson. So first, everyone has to get seated and catch, on, catch up on what happened the night before. That leaves us with about 35 minutes in class. Then we have to go over any questions people might have over the homework and then check it. That leaves us with about 20 minutes left in class. So students get about 20 minutes of learning in a 45 minute class period. We, this, uh, this only allows us to go over the key points in the lesson. Being the student that I am, I like to go over the details of the events that we talk about in class. When we're in a rush, we're not able to go over the details. Uh, if I were to ask my teacher why were the Mongols able to conquer almost everything, she would say, don't ask why, they just did. And I would say, but why? And she would say, don't worry about why. All you need to know is that they almost conquered everything. Then I would say, but why? I mean, why shouldn't I worry about it? And she would say, because it's not going to be on the test. Teachers should be teaching us more than what's just going to be on the test. I don't want to be taught the minimum. Teach me the maximum. I'm not bashing my school. I like my school, and I like my teachers. This is not a problem with my school. This is a problem with the United States education system. It seems that the goal of education system in this country is to give students a just enough education. We are getting a just enough education. It's been this way for a while. At my school, they did a when I was 17 interview on one of my teachers. She said high school did not prepare her for college in any way, and that was in the 80s. According to a 2011 study, less than one third of students graduating from high school are ready for college. In fact, this study states that almost two million students nationwide took remedial courses in the fall. Remedial, meaning these kids are taking classes on subjects that they should have learned in high school. If you look at Texas, the numbers are even worse. If you have two high, schools, two high school kids in Texas, when they graduate from high school, one of them will be ready for college level work and the other one will not be ready for college level work. That's right, 50% of students in the state of Texas are not ready for college level work when they leave high school. So it seems like one of the main problems we have in the classroom is not having enough time for instruction. So I made up a new schedule. The uh, typical school day is about seven hours long and my schedule is also seven hours long. So you would, uh, you would have your four classes still for, so for example, let's say we had algebra, history, uh, physics, and English. Uh, on Monday and Wednesday, you would start your day off with physics and you would go for an hour and 30 minutes. And then after an hour and 30 minutes of learning, your mind will probably be tired, you'll be wandering off, uh, your attention span will be shortening. So you have a 40 minute elective that takes you away from schoolwork for a minute. And then you go back to physics for an hour just to conclude the lesson and um, to, get to let the teacher assign you your homework and explain any questions you might have. After that, you go to lunch for 30 minutes. <clears throat> After lunch, you would go to English for an hour and 30 minutes, have your 40 minute elective, and then go back to conclude your day in English for an hour. On Tuesday and Thursday, you would go to algebra and history. You would start your day with algebra, uh, go for an hour and 30 minutes, have your 40 minute elective, go back to algebra for an hour, and then have your 30 minute lunch. Um, then you would go to history for an hour and 30 minutes, have your 40 minute elective, and finish in history for an hour. That concludes the week. Um, but then you have Friday, and on Friday, you only go to your four core classes. In each core class, you don't go to electives on Friday. You would just go to your four core classes, and each one is an hour and 30 minutes long, plus you still get your 30 minute lunch. But um, on Friday, it's just basically a review day. Um, you're not learning anything new, it's just concluding what you learned that week. And um, when we leave school and go into summer, we pretty much forget everything we learned that whole school year. So the first three weeks when we come back to school, we're reviewing what we learned that school year. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd be the last one to suggest year-round school. Well, we could probably use year-round school work. During the summer, we should receive online assignments that, com that we complete online. We don't have to go to school and teachers don't have to go to work, but students can still keep their minds active. I think we should start using technologies to our advantage. Colleges are doing it, high schools can do it too, because I don't want a just enough education. I want more than just enough, thank you.